Hello and welcome back to Spaceborn 2. My name is Spange. Now I've been doing a lot of kind of little bits and bobs off camera to try and get myself a bit leveled up, both in character and ship basically. I'm trying to get improved things. So I have done uh, a little bit of work for the Freelancer Guild. We're actually halfway through, yeah, somewhat halfway through rank 2 on our way to rank 3. Um, I've done a bit of mining and I've done a bit of village clearing and stuff like that in order to gain loot and then obviously sell it. Um, Please approach to the jump. So I'm talking about 16 million TY right now, which is a comfortable amount at this stage of the game, I think. But uh, it's going to disappear very quickly once we start getting stations and we want to upgrade them. Something is really wrong with this Stargate. <laughs> we're just we're just going to pretend it's uh, a bit of bit of stunt flying. Everything's fine. Um, yeah, so the biggest stations you need to pay to upgrade them, maintain them, defend them, whatever. 16 million is going to go like that, so um, it's a start. It's a comfortable little buffer to get back into the storyline, I think. But we're going to need a lot more. So I think, you know, I will continue raiding villages. I just prefer that to mining, I think. Although AFK mining, some of you guys suggested, is really good. I think. You know, we've got about 6 million from AFK riding, mining for, uh, for like an hour or so. AFK mining. I haven't really gone over that, basically, but a lot of you already know what it is because you're the ones that suggested it to me. When you're in an asteroid, find an assorted asteroid, dig down to find the green stuff, point your laser drill at it in one-foot laser drill. Uh, press go, and then um, walk away. <laughs> you got something to put on your mouse, hold the buttons down, and just walk away. So I did that, went and had some dinner, watched some TV, came back, six million. Win. For the input. Boom. So we're going to carry on with the story mission today. And so our mission is to go to the Exarch outpost in you Kenton. private property. Please warp away or we will engage in defense. This is your first and final warning. The server must be located in this outpost. Let's eliminate the guard ship first to gain time for me to work. Then drop me off at the station. Shield recharge is online. All right. Oh, ships at the station. We are under attack. Imitating error protocol. Oh, hello, boys. Target shields down. I have, um... I re-equipped my ship. I didn't go through, didn't have time to go through all the, the changes of setup and stuff, but uh, basically I have three rail, three rail guns now. Target destroyed. They do, um, they do all right. So does my squadron, it would seem. I'm really far away. Shield recharging. This is a level 17 ship. I'm also level 17, I think, so... Looks clear. Drop me off near the station. I'll locate Jack for you. Alright, thanks, Momo. Okay, I'll start working. <laughs> I'm fired a missile I need to find out which <laughs> system the server is connected to. Whoops. Oh, look, there he is. Eyes! <laughs> He's floating around, that's so cute. Go, Momo, go! Do your thing! I think we're still in the ship because uh, more bad guys are about to turn up, right? He says, I'm going to float around outside. I think they managed to send out a distress signal. That's another missile. Are incoming. Protect me. Protect me. Alright, you got it, buddy. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. Woohoo! Oh boy. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. 
shield recharging. Got it. I learned where Jack is being transferred. Come and pick me up. Let's get out of here. Wait. Hodge. Oh, it's been a two point kilometers away. This is going to be a tough little grab. Come on. You can do it. Pod stabilized. Pod stabilized. Catch her away. Let's go get Momo. Oh. Hope that doesn't Jack is being transferred to the Kadei system in this sector. But from there we'll be transferred to another location. We must hurry. Okay. Let me just Good do job, some looting though. Hey. Where'd, where'd my crates go? Hey. There it is. I had to click out of it back in again. Ooh, look at this stuff. Stellar aim extensions, a knife, new beam shotgun, more drone components, damage boosters. I will select all and I will send the probe. We're going to have all of that. Uh, okay, so go to Transarc Outpost in 5 6. Okay, dokie. Wait for my probe to come back, but in the meantime, we can, of course, um, plot the route, I guess. So. That's under contracts. Set route. 56, huh? Warp drive on did I get all those bits and bobs? I did. They're in my my bag. A cargo. Oh, there's another pod. Ah, uh, that's going to walk away. We're way too late. 3.3 kilometers away. I'm leaving it. Calibration completed. Leave him. Waiting for the thruster in the that one got away. Good having my little, uh, my squadron with me. Nice, they do good work. Alpha squad. They love it. Warp away. Warp away, chaps. Warp away. Please approach to the jump point to Control H to automatically ask the Stargate for jump permission. You don't have to press the H key. Go to the little signal, click on Stargate, and then ask for jump. Control H now. Nice little thing. Let's go. Here we are. It looks pretty calm. That's because it's a transfer station. Anyway, we need to find a suitable spot. Transfer ships can arrive at any moment. Find this place looks good. You can hide among the containers on top of the outpost and make long range shots from there. But of course. First and foremost, we need to conceal the ship somewhere. Let's go into the back of the outpost and shut down all systems so they can't locate us. Hide the ship and eject. I spotted a great location with a view of the entire landing pad. Let's go there. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. We'll need a sniper rifle. Oh. Just in case. I brought an extra one. I'm transferring it to you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it, Maliax. But uh, I've already got a sniper now, rip here. We'll wait. I've got Don't my, anything like, boner is running around. I'll got... approach the ship to locate Jack's position. <laughs> Meanwhile, try to cover me from a long range. Boner's here. Oh, hello. Here they come. Oh, yeah. Let's wait until Jack is taken out of the station. Wait until I give the signal to engage. Okie dokie. Waiting. Don't mind my squadron flying around, guys. Clearly not an issue. They're moving. Let them get a little distance from the station. Then I'll follow them. For now, just wait. Waiting. Why am I on foot if the ship is flying away? Waiting. That's enough. I'm moving. Cover me. Damn it! I've been detected. Oh, shit. I'm under heavy fire. Take down the guards who are shooting at me. Damn it. 
when firing. Consider the speed of the ships and the speed of the bullets when taking aim. Otherwise, you will always miss. Ha <laughs> ha I can't believe they've got actual bullet drift in this. Headshot. Got him. Got him. Got him. Is that better, Momo? You good now? Could, you, could we have done this while it was on the platform? I've killed the carrier crew, right? Good. Right. The ship entrances are cleared. Good job. Now I need to find out which ship Jack is on. Give me some time. My God. Okay. Why are these ships still here? Surely they would have just warped away. He's <laughs> just like pondering between them. La 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 la. <laughs> Here he is. Here I'm he is. Jack out. Come pick us up with the ship okay. and let's get out of here. I was stuck on the station there for a second. I am Naka. over. Finally, someone came for me. Thank you so much. Oh, Let's Jack, it's going to be here. really annoying, isn't he? Yeah, we need to make a jump to the Lodos system now. Lodos, why? I'll explain on the way. Please trust me. Lodos, then. Lodos, Lodos, Lodos. Calibration completed. Waiting Let's go, boys. Let me explain the situation. I know what you're after. Oh, Jack's your got a different voice now. The integration station are being talked about by everyone. You'll offer to manage the construction work for the WRA, right? I accept in advance. Nice. But I have a small request. I can't do this alone. I need to bring my wife. She was separated from me and transferred to another station. And she should be in the Ludo system now. How will we find your wife in the vast universe? Wursa has a bracelet, and we're in constant communication through it. We can track her location. Wursa, don't tell me you're married with a Mortha. Yes, we found love in each other. This is so romantic. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. First a robot, and now a Martha. This organization has turned into a club for the mixing of different cultures. I request a meeting on this matter when we get back to HQ. Let's first handle this task, and then we can proceed with the meeting. I think that's what you meant there, Anchor. Thanks for pointing out the obvious, though, as always. All right, welcome to Lodos, Lodos, Lodos. Over there, I guess. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting Let's go. For the thruster. Once again. Oh, hey, that's a lot of floaty rocks. Here it is. She must be somewhere inside this station. The drone carrier ships are approaching. Rest assured. As long as I am the co-pilot, I won't online. leave any sturdy drones around. Assigning Momo as the co-pilot from the crew screen will give us an advantage oh. in this battle. Being shot. Target destroy shield recharging. Let's get these suckers. Engine module offline. Target shield is down. Engine module online. Target destroyed. Oh, a lot of drones. Target shields down. Target 
Target destroyed. Target shields down. Target destroyed. Engine one. Fortunately, the thing with drones is. They're very squishy. Engine module online. Target shields down. Shield the target destroyed. Target shields down. Target shield destroyed. Engine module offline. Engine module online. A larger drone ship is approaching. Get oh ready. boy. I'm not ready. Shield recharging. Oh, do you mind? I've nearly stabilized this pod. Can we just not right now, please? Pod stabilized. Right, pod. Off. Go. What do we got? Great! You don't see a fighter-class ship destroying a nest every day! The hostages are leaving the station in pods. Let's pick up what saw as soon as she enters our line of sight. Okay. Got my pod. Oh, my love. I can't believe you did so much for me. <laughs> I would do anything for you. You know that. I will be forever grateful for what you've done. From now on you can count me as your most loyal ally. But I have one last request from you. Okay. Please give us some time. Drop us off at a station. We have some family matters to take care of. After we handle them we will meet you wherever you want and I'll start my work. Uh, okay. Actually, that's a good idea. Taking a break. Having a drink. And getting a good sleep would be good for all of us. Fine. To the Explorers Guild then. Because I can have a look at what wares they've got. Calibration Let's go. We'll be parting ways for now. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Okay. I'll be in touch with you as soon as possible. Have fun. Doing the net. I do. I forgot to loot the freaking boxes at the last one. Uh. Okay. Well, we got some stuff from that. There's that sniper rifle. Rubbish. <laughs> it's better than the one I've got. There, oh, there. No. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Okay. Let's have a look, see then. Uh, what has the Explorers Guild got on offer today? I'm not even sure I can access any of their uh, their consoles being rank zero. But we can check. Yeah, I can look. All right, sweet. To be fair, the weaponry and stuff, I don't really need to change. I'm quite good at the moment. It's always nice to have a look, I suppose. Yeah, there's not really anything here. Okay, well, I can at least sell things like... Actually, that's that's better. <laughs> maybe, uh... This is, this is maybe have a look at my uh, my character sheet here. The knife is better than my current knife. It's too high a level. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, of course. Right. I need to spend some time on a planet. I need to kill more villagers, guys. What a shame. Um, but I need to get my soldier level up. For sure. The, um... Your, your sniper rifle actually does higher DPS than my current sniper rifle, which only does 70. So that would be good as well. 
but it's tier one. Ugh. It's grey. Oh, okay, whatever. All right, it looks like we've got a couple of people to hold uh, deliver here. One hundred twenty-seven thousand room, one hundred ninety-eight thousand room, one hundred eighty-five thousand room. Nice, not bad at all. So here is my weapon setup here, Group One. I've got the Komatsu Rail 1.7k base damage, followed by the Gurov, followed by the New Beam. Now, um, there's diminishing returns to having sort of more than one weapon, really, I suppose, but uh, ultimately you're still getting more damage. Um, you know, you got the Ray of Fire of each, Shield damage of each, and the Armor damage. The efficiency of the best one should be 100%. I first one in the list, sorry, should be 100%. Then you want to put the best one there, is what I was trying to say. And then they would get 50% and then 30%. And then I think the last one would probably be 5%, if that, maybe even less. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, three railguns. I got a Komatsu Pulse at the moment. I mean, the railguns do so much damage to shields and hull anyway. I might swap that out to something like a shotgun or something and just play around with it and see what, how fun it is and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the weapon setup. Got five more pod catchers there. I don't think I've got any components here that are worth it. Uh, we've got drone components and defensive packs for our mining ship. Another drone component there. And a scanner boss. Uh, oh, the power the power thing here I think is better. 140.3 instead of 124 plus regen of 1.5 seconds instead of 1.2. So we can take the Omnifair power engine out and put the higher level, less quality stellar powering in and there we go we can sell that got lots of like random consumables here yeah, it's fine okay we're out of burner rockets so i've been favoring these quite a lot because they target um the hull they do hull damage through shields anyway we're 65 percent um da a damage to the target shield there's a 20 percent chance that the target will then burn for five seconds we're 50% of the launcher's base damage, which is quite a lot. When they do catch, they really catch. So I've been enjoying those. But there we go. There's our ship. Would be nice one day to get a new one. 17 million, though. A new ship would basically break me in that amount of money. Now, there is another mission that I have that I, I'm not sure where it came from. It might just be it came from when I got to a certain level. It's, it's a freelance contract without a level, and it says to... It's called the Brotherhood. Uh, go to the Brotherhood station in five, uh, 458 EEL system. So I'm going to track that. I'm going to go check that out. All right. Let's go. Landing gear retracted. Warp drive online. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. So this is apparently the Brotherhood's HQ. Somewhere inside this rock. Oh, yep. They did stick a station inside a rock. What do you know? Landing gear deployed. Is this like the Dark Brotherhood? From <laughs> um, Skyrim. We'll find out. Talk with Abby in the Brotherhood station. Ooh. Freaky deaky. Seems creepy. So many trip hazards along this walkway. It's unbelievable. Definitely not OSHA approved. What the actual... Brevis? Welcome. We were awaiting your arrival. Uh, okay, what? This is an abandoned mining station from the outside. But we've been using it as the headquarters of the Brotherhood for centuries. What does the Brotherhood do? Whatever the Brothers do, we take care of each other. 
we take from those who are not of us and give to those that are from us. They're pirates, if then. If you join us, we will give you technologies that no one else in the galaxy has. What kind of technologies are we talking about? New members, we are installing a system to see the cargoes of the target ships. We also have a galaxy positioning system where you can follow any ship you want. Ooh. So, what's your answer? Do you want to be one of us? Okay, I'll join. Thank you, but no, maybe later. I will never join a dark organization like yours. Uh, I'm joining. Beautiful. <laughs> first, I didn't even think about Ed it. asks you to fulfill a mission. Yeah. It is a procedure we apply for each of our new members. Of course, it will be an easy task for you. Okay. You do not need to return here after completing the quest. You will become a member of our guild when your quest is completed. Good luck. Thanks, talking head man without body weird stone thing. Dude. Uh, what is this contract? Brotherhood, loot a civil ship. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to get a criminal record. I'm about to get a criminal record. <laughs> Piracy. It is then. Oh boy. Okay. Does that component automatically install itself? I don't see any new components that they've given me. I'm going to go with it's just automatically on there and we don't have to worry about it. Right. Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Let's go pirating, guys. This is a bad idea. Okay, so from what I can find about this online, I'm not sure the Brotherhood quest line is uh, is even complete or working properly at the moment. Um, the advice I can find is basically come to a hub style sector. Now, I've never been to one of these, never found one, but uh, they're in the sort of more populated part of the galaxy in, uh, I suppose you could call it um, safe space or something, I don't know. But uh, this has got low security here. Now, the general principle here is to find a civilian ship now you can do that up here in the left these are signals in the area now a lot of these are fighters and some of them are probably going to be um part of the defense force of the station i guess but i got this guy here he's this guy and i can scan his cargo and he's got burnt cables weapon containers and just yeah garbage basically um I don't know why he's now dropping off my thing. There he is. Right. So I'm going to attach a GPS tracker to him, apparently. Galaxy positioning system attached to the target ship. Activate the warp scrambler. Warp scrambling is activated. The target ship's warp will be disturbed in five seconds after starting to warp. Okay. Scan cargo again, go back, talk with the pilot. Okay. Uh you have anything do you have any missions to share? Aggressive actions. Pack, robe, ask for tribute. Robe? The hell's robe? <laughs> this is what I mean by it. it's not really finished yet. Ask for tribute? Uh I'm not greedy. I just give me half the money in the bank and I'll let you out here in one piece. Are you sure you want to go down this route? Don't resist. I will enjoy this. Disconnecting. Weapons online. I don't know where he is. What happened to that? Emergency signal will notify sentry in. And there you go. Brotherhood interview task is complete, actually. Um, <laughs> he didn't even drop any loot. 
That was it. Uh, I wonder if emergency signal will notify security in four minutes. Okay. So there's like a criminality tab somewhere. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Criminal, here we are, under character. You're not on a wanted list. Okay, so that hasn't done anything yet, presumably because um, security forces haven't found me yet. I guess if I don't leave this area, they will. But there we go, at least we did that. We <laughs> that doesn't say qualifies as looting a civilian ship. Never mind me, Mr. Capital Vessel. Um, but Ooh, just like offline. picking on someone and absolutely savaging them. <laughs> Ooh, Seems a bit harsh, but there we go. Okay, so what does that mean then? Does that, that contract's just gone. Okay, well, I guess we wait for Jack to contact us, yada, yada, yada. So I can't really, I want, what I want to do is start proceeding by actually taking over sectors and taking over st stations and stuff like that. I don't think I can do that until Jack is working for me as the guy that builds stations and maintains them and things like that. And then we probably get the next mission in the story is to actually get our first station. After that, I think it will be like gloves, training wheels off, go nuts, take over as many say stations and sectors as you like. So for now, uh, what I want to do is head into a super high level area. So let me have a look at the map here. It's really good and easy now. And um, we can see the levels and stuff from here. Now, the highest level area appears to be this. Oh, no. Get back out. I, that was not what I even meant to click on. I wanted to turn the camera around. Oh boy, here I am saying it's really good. And then it betrays me. Betrays me. It is this level 52 to 62 area down here, I think, is the highest level there is. There's 50 to 60, but I think Shiv, Shiv, whatever, is the highest. Um, in this area, everything over here is 30 to 40s, so on and so forth. Anyway, so we're going to go over here to Shiv. Shiv? Shiv. Set route. Okay. Let's get to the Stargate because we've got two minutes to get the hell out of here. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll head to Shiv, Eve, whatever. Um, and we're going to look for villagers. We're going to go back down on the ground and get ourselves into a hell of a lot of trouble. And hopefully make a lot of money in the process. So, of course, first of all, we'll need to swap out to our bigger boat here and then head down to a village. Here in this high level system, this is a 55 to 59 village. Oh boy. Landing gear Actually, it's of a type I've never seen before as well. Like, kind of like a village of natives or something. Okay. So we're going to need um, a sniper rifle here. And I think I've done this before with you guys, but uh, uh, essentially we just shoot that guy in the head. And then the uh, bad guys start coming out. Well, I say I'm the bad guy, really, because I'm the one shooting them all in the head, aren't I? we got to hit these guys. Preferably before they get to me, because... Uh, if they get to me, they're going to absolutely wreck me. Oh, God, that guy survived a headshot. Okay. I think I survived a headshot. I don't know how much longer this is going to take. But we got to basically kill these guys until that red bar at the top depletes and then all the defenders give up. And run away. Meanwhile, this is giving me a decent amount of XP. And each of these purple boxes that drop. That's the real, that's why we came here. It's the loot that we want. Now, it's all going to be really high level. We're not going to be able to use most of it. Any of it, if, if, if any of it. God, this guy is indestructible. What the hell? 
Uh, but most of it we'll just sell anyway. I don't like freaking sand people. <laughs> Pretty cheesy. But we just got a level up on soldier. So that's good. And we are depleting that bar. It's gonna take a little while, is all. I'm gonna make a very foolish run for it. I'm gonna see if I can pick up some of this loot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Uh oh. Oh crap. They just dropped off a bunch of dudes. Or. something. Going for the loot was possibly a bad idea. Right, I've made it finally to the lo first loot thingy. Uh, and it's a couple of trash bags, uh, trash suits, really. Oh, crap. Fortunately, he was at maximum range for his gun, so didn't do that much damage. Next box, knife, rifle, hammer, and another suit. I've seen those ships landing, and they freak me out, because I'm like, are they coming for me? Uh, the bars are about halfway now, so we are making progress. Uh, there's an SMG. Melted trigger garbage. Okay. Oh, crap. Hello. Bad times, bad times, bad times. That was close. Running in there and doing that stuff is a really bad idea. But I won the loot. <laughs> the torn between self preservation and getting what is mine. See, this is really crappy loot so far. So I'm particularly. Uh, Pressed was what? Oh, there's a nice suit. At least something. Oh! Oh! Not only did I cut that guy in half, his head has become all elongated and stretched. Then it's just weird and creepy. Okay. Let's get the rest of this bar down then. And uh, finish this. Then we will loot the city. Whatever we can. Ah, there we go. <laughs> They're off. I've defeated it. The village is mine. Well, not really, but, you know. There are no more defenders. We'll pick this stuff up. Have a look at what we got here. So that's worth 100,000, 133, 450,000, 226,000. That sniper rifle is almost half a million. I mean, it's beautiful, 759 DPS, but it's level 55. I can't use it. I wouldn't be able to use it for ages, so there's no point in keeping it. 200,000, 640,000, 200,000, 231,000. I mean, that took all of about I don't know, 10 minutes um, to defeat that village. And that is quite a lot more fun. There's a half a million as well, that one. A lot more fun than mining. 
a lot more fun than mining. Mining's great if you if you like you need to go and cook dinner or something, you know? <laughs> um anyway, I should check around the village as well. There might be a crate or something in here as well we should check. And then I think um we're gonna jump on the hover bike and go and explore the countryside a little bit because there are some bandit camps out there and stuff like that that are also very lucrative. And well it turns out if you kick down the doors in this particular village, I don't know what you're doing. Are you beckoning me? Are you are you I don't know. Be back. Go away. And that's just wrong, is what you're doing. <laughs> you kick down the doors. Why are they all bending over? Oh right, yeah, because they're ready to receive. Oh, there you go, there's a pulse charger, a railgun, a offensive pack. Yeah, each one of these houses had one of these crates in it so far. This is ridiculously profitable. I mean, just to give it a, a, um, a, a, a reference point here, I have 16.7 million, okay? Once I'm done this village, I head back to that trade station. Let's see how much money I get from this. Okay, so Jack's just contacted me. He's now available for the next part, which is a good time, because uh, I just done finished looting that village. I don't know why my uh, warp is going so slowly right now, but the mission is to return to HQ. Now, I have a cargo hold full. I've run out of slots. I can actually go out on the hover bike and do anything else. I run out of slots. So I figured we'd go back to the station here anyway and um, vlog my honestly earned wares. Yeah. So if I was to sell everything that I just picked up there, it would equal 7.1 million credits. That's for about 15 minutes work is pretty damn good. But I'm going to go through, just make sure there isn't actually anything in there that I can use and is better for me now. 24 million. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. 24 million. We got a new pulse rifle. We have a new sniper rifle, a new laser pistol, a new stabby stabby thing, a new suit. And on the ship itself, um, I think the... Uh, oh, I can't actually remember what it was. It might be the shield knight. Maybe. 13 yeah sounds about it might be the shield right anyway uh oh a new offensive and defensive pack on the on the uh big ship as well the mining boat so we did get some new stuff despite the fact that we were like way under level for that area still gave us items for our level which is really good anyway we're here at the hq let's find out what the next chapter is all about i'm hoping this is where we finally get our own station HQ seems to have expanded a little bit into the caves. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. As always, it's properly dank. Hey, everybody. What a, what a party of dudes. Um, so I would like to start by thanking Momo for this successful operation. He has shown us all how valuable of an ally he is. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for this successful operation. You all have done a great job. Let's commence in the meeting following another triumph operation under my leadership. <laughs> yeah, let's thank everyone. Thank you. But Momo's success in this operation cannot go unnoticed. I would like to thank Momo on behalf of the team. Thank you very much. You have honored me. Let's first talk about the fact that Jack's wife, thank you, Drain. Wussa, is here. I think having a Mothra wandering around who knows all of our secrets is unsettling for all of us, not just me. She's my wife. If you trust me, please trust her as well. We need to clear the air. If you have any issues with this arrangement, now is the time to discuss it. If worse this stays with us, my decision is final. Jack, you may go be with your wife whenever you please. However, she cannot stay here. My decision is final. Hmm. Let us discuss. There is no problem for me. Wassel can stay with us. Same here. If we choose to trust Jack, it means we can trust Wassel as well. Really? Even if we don't know her yet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Jack, but I agree with Moliex. We are not in a position to take any risks, no matter how small the possibility may be. I am confident in Worst's reliability, but not everyone may feel the same way. Worse's presence could cause dissent within the organization. Nevertheless, the final decision is yours. Hmm. 
I don't feel like I'm going down the route of justice if I kick her out, right? Because that's like unjustified. I'm not unnecess- I'm not about xenophobia necessarily. Um, so I think my only option is that she stays with us. But I guess we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you very much for believing in me. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. Gonna pick up Molly Axe. He's just gonna up, up and leave in a minute. So now we can return to our main agenda, which is to show ourselves to the galaxy. GG. Yes. Now that Jack is with us, we can exit this cave. Jack, can you enlighten us as to what needs to be done in order to complete this next step? It's time to earn your keep, Jack. <laughs> if we want to become a recognized faction in the galaxy, we need a capital station. Okay. What makes a capital, capital station so... Capital stations are the main station that manages all the structures in a sector. There is only one in each sector, but there are some things that need to be done before it can be established. Okay. First, you need to decide which system to establish our capital in, but there should not be another faction's outpost or station in that system. After deciding on the solar system, you need to decide on which planet's orbit to establish the station. After mm -hmm. all these decisions, you need to notify me and I will start working. He'll just build a station, I need three really. things for the establishment of the station. Raw materials, tools, and some advanced technology systems. Construction will continue as long as you provide me with these materials. If I don't have the materials, the construction will stop. Okay, where do we find these there materials? There are many different ways to find these resources. You can purchase them, or raid factories, stations, and follow cargo ships to loot. But I think buying them is the best option if you want to leave a good impression. Mm -hmm. There are a few things to be cautious of. First of all, the system where we set up the station should not belong to a faction. It can belong to an independent house. But if we set up a station in a location affiliated with one of the main factions, it will be discovered and destroyed very soon. Right, Secondly, right, right. There shouldn't be another station or outpost in the system where we set up the station. If there is, we may face the same risk again. Finally, there shouldn't be any other structures in the orbit of the planet where we set up the station, such as a beacon or an escape route. If there is, we may face the risk of collision. Right, okay. Uh, I understand. Good luck. Good Please luck. let me know when you've made a decision and I'll get started. Rise of the Ra! The Ra is rising. Okay, so we need to find a suitable system and build... Oh, can't access the Atlas while I'm underground in this hellhole. Build a capital station. I love that the objective of this is to just build a capital station. It doesn't take you through, like, bit by bit. Like, go find these materials or go find those materials. <laughs> it's just like, build one, go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um... Anybody got a hammer? Mm, you know, maybe maybe a nail or two. That'd be useful. Thanks. So we are in Etox. Uh, Etox is Etox is a level fourteen to twenty four system, and it is not owned because it's a pirate sector. Uh, but we did make a kind of little bit of a war against one of the little independent houses, uh, Babel, I think it was, wasn't it? But yeah, if we can find that faction, we can basically blow their stuff up. Diplomacy. Independent. Now Saragon. There they are. They've got 22 solar systems. Bases. they got a factory. We can raid. So these, are, I guess, are the raw materials he's talking about. We could raid that for plus 44 or whatever. And then 18, 21, 31. Uh, 34 people, I guess. I don't know. Um, but if we basically start absolutely trashing this faction, is you know, I think we'll be able to. Stronghold Station. You know, 37 million in an uh, Essitol Station. There it is. Level 1 to 11. Alphox. Um, presumably everything around here is going to be basically theirs. There's this sector here. Al Fox, for 1 to 11. We should be able to absolutely just trounce these kids because we're all the way up at level 17, 18 now. And these guys are down at 1, one to 11, so yeah. 
I say we go here and we just absolutely freaking annihilate what they got and then build our own shit. Capture everything else. See what happens, right? I mean, they've already kind of told us that Saragon is the kind of crappy faction that we should uh, we should be eliminating. Right? Freaking do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all we have time for today, unfortunately. But join me next time when we will start building our space station and checking out our enemy, seeing what they have. But still, we made a lot of money today, and that's good. We did a little bit of nasty little deeds, dodgy deeds, and that was good too. But thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.